I'm really well. I'm sitting here on my little settee with a little cup of tea. Well, I'm not doing that, <laughs> but I'm glad you are. Listen, let's spin the globe and see where it lands. So I'm going to spin it and you stop it. Okay. It makes me think of the Dead or Alive song. You spin me right round, baby, right round. Anyway. Well, <laughs> that works. That works. <laughs> okay. It's stopped in a wonderful, beautiful place, I feel. I've never been there, but it's on my bucket list. It's called Jackson Hole. What state is it in? I believe that's Wyoming. That's it. All right. <laughs> come on down. Come on, Jennifer. Jennifer. Come on down and see us. Wyoming. Oh. There we are. There's our friend. Hey, no. We've known Jennifer for a long time, haven't we, Chris? We have. And I bet where you are, it's so beautiful at the moment in spring. Oh, my gosh. Um, well, unfortunately, right now, it's considered mud season. We're oh. in between winter and spring, which is an interesting time to be here. Yes. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So we so, yeah, yeah we don't we we are definitely not in spring yet. It snowed I think yesterday, but today it's I don't know fifty degrees outside. Um, yeah, the yeah, dog can't go outside without coming in completely muddy. Oh yeah, so you need your your wellies on. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, we're so glad uh, you could join us today. Thank yeah. you. Me too. Chris, do you have a yeah, question for we'll, Jennifer? Yeah, so, so we've known Jennifer for a long time um, through, through the IPA board. But yeah. Jennifer, how long have you been doing iridology? I have been doing iridology um, since 2012, I do believe. Awesome. Okay. It has, ten so that's, that ten that's 10 years. years. Yeah. Yeah. I can you do my math. Been, that's a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> I can <laughs> that can count. Yeah, it's been right close to that. Um, 2000, I, I'm, I am positive it was 2012 um, that I awesome. went to um, Ellen Tart Jensen's class. In, um, in San Diego? In San Diego, yes. Oh, in yes. the beautiful awesome. home. I mean, um, actually, you know what? Now that I think of this, San, Bern, San Bernardo? San Marcos. San, San Marcos? I don't know. It was one of those places. It was not San actually, it was actually at a hotel. Um, okay. It was a Florida week Dino. long. It wasn't at her home at the time. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. Oh, that would have been great. Oh, yeah. It was amazing. Yeah. So and what inspired you to do Iridology? Okay. That's where my story, oh, that's where my story really starts. Um, so when I, when I was 10, when I was 10, my mom had a little, I had my sister and she was born, she was born three and a half months early. So she weighed wow. one pound, 12 ounces. Oh my. Yeah. Crazy. Now I'm going to step back just a hot second. So the reason why this one, because she was my little sister, but my mom had a daughter between my sister and I that weighs, that weighed one pound, four ounces. So super, super premature babies. Um, the one between my sister and I, her name, her name was Jolene. She lived a week. Um, and so, you know, as a little girl, that's the only thing in life. I think that you want, you want a sibling, you want a companionship, right? I mean, I think about my niece now that's seven and my sister is going to have another baby. And my, my niece is just beside herself. It's, it's so amazing to see, but so at 10 years old, here my mom tells me, you know, you're, you're finally going to get your little sister. I was ecstatic. But then being one pound, 12 ounces, um, born three and a half months early, there was a lot, she wasn't fully developed. So I had to learn a lot of Western medicine because I had to know about heart monitors. I didn't know CPR. I ha we basically, we lived in the neonatal units for three months until she was normal size to be able to come home. Yeah. Um, so when she was five years old, she started having seizures and the doctors had warned us, you know, she's either going to develop and be perfectly 100% fine, or she's going to develop and she's going to have some imbalances. So, um, when she started having these seizures, my mom, m I mean, my parents, of course, you know, straight to Western medicine, what do we do? You know, and they try this, try this, try this and nothing they, they couldn't, they couldn't one stop the seizures. And number two, the medications were just leaving her. Um, 
just in, in a trance, if you will, just, it, it was just super, um, it just wasn't in a healthy state. My parents said she, at five years old, she cannot live her, the rest of her life like this. Like we have to figure out something. And so my dad worked out at a, a nuclear plant in Idaho and um, they had this big bulletin board of cards and, you know, people. And uh, he started telling his story about his daughter, seizures, medication. And somebody was like, there's an iridologist up on the board there. You should go like, check it out. And my dad's like, oh, wait, what? How, wait, what? Like this, okay, but it was completely outside of the box, which, you know, obviously it's taken a long time for iridology to actually come to the forefront of, of, um, of Eastern medicine. But so they made an appointment with this woman in Idaho Falls, which, you know, there's not a lot of iridologists around the world at that time anyway. So to have one in our hometown, and my, my parents took my sister and she did her analysis. Um, she told my parents a, a new way for my sister to eat based on her iridology signs and some supplements. And lo and behold, my sister never had another seizure. Wow. Never, not to the day had she ever so had another cool. seizure. Amazing, incredible. So this woman was my hero right? Mm. She was, she saved my sister's life because my sister would not be well and living and thriving today, like with, without her. And so of course, then my dad started going to her and my mom started going to her and I started going to her. Um, and she looked at me one day and she said, you know, I was just so intrigued. And she said, I can see it in your eyes, no pun intended, but you're going to do this someday. And I was like, Ooh well, isn't that cool? Like, that would be amazing. But, you know, now 15 to 19 years old, you don't just get out of school and become an iridologist and, and that's the end of it. Like, so I had to go through the traditional schooling and, and, and do all the traditional stuff. And then um, it wasn't until 10 years ago that I had been working in functional medicine for, well, I guess it was quite some time, almost 20 years mm. that I said, you know what, it's time for me to venture over into some Eastern med medicine stuff because handing out prescriptions to people is just not my jam. And it's never been my jam, but it paid the bills. It was, you know, my livelihood for as long as it, it could be. So I, um, so I signed up for Ellen's class. Thanks. And that, that, was is probably, that is probably the best story I've ever heard. Oh, thank you. Being inspired. Yeah. So that like, yeah. So, um, you know, and this woman, her name was Randy Anderson and I don't think she, I don't think she was ever really part of anything iridology as far as like, you know, really the community of iridology. She just did it. And, you know, having gone through, having gone through, um, the, the, the schooling, having been, having been on the board, like there's a lot of things now that I look back and think, I don't know about everything that she did was like fully up to speed. She was still my hero. She was, she was still, still my, my hero. hero. Yeah. And so, um, yeah. And so she had this, she had a little office outside of her. She had a little office in her home where she had supplements, nature, sunshine supplements. Um, and, uh, so I was like, you know what, that, that feels right. So at the time I actually got back you know, you know, this is the rest of the story. I got back the, the functional medicine doctor that I was working for at the time was so supportive. He called me every day after class. I'm so happy. Let's do this. We're so excited. I got back to work that following Friday. He asked me to turn my keys in. Yep. Turn my keys in. You're done. You need to go do your thing. I'm going to do my thing now. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I, my, I called my husband up on the phone and I was like, Falling, of course. I was like, what am I going to do? And he said, well, you're going to sink or you're going to swim. You figure it out. I can't help you. Right. So I was like, all right. So I literally jumped head first and it was, it's been, that was the best gift I could have ever been given, ever mm. been given. Um, right. so that, <laughs> that was the beginning of my journey. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's it's funny how some things look bleak at the moment oh. and yeah. we receive them and we cry and we're sad about them. 
but it's the most beautiful gift we could have been given. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and it's like a sliding doors moment where you can take you can take one door or another and that that really affects the rest of your life, doesn't it? Yeah. Absolutely. You pick door A or you pick door B or you're forced to pick door A and or you're forced to pick door B. And um, you know, we were talking earlier, you just, you know what, you land on your feet and you move forward and you look back and think, wow, look where I yeah. am now. Like where would I have been? Yeah. You know, and and I don't focus on that because that's there's no reason to focus on the what could have, what should have, you know, scenario. Yeah. Um, but you gotta go with, you know, where you are today and how that impacts you and and um yeah. yeah. I love that story. Thank you. So Jennifer, what after being in iridology for 10 years now, what would you consider to be your favorite sign or favorite iris type that you see? Okay, so that's it changes all the time. Let me let me tell you that too, <laughs> because um, you know there were times where I focused a lot on um, the 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 gut area, you know, the zones one and two. Now I really focus on the tophi. I really focus on those outer zones, specifically the tophi and the scurf rim. Um, and that's just because of where I am right now in my own practice and where I am in my life and why I have the things that I have going on with me, because oftentimes we follow, we follow our own inner journey to help other people with that journey. And so, yeah, for me, I really look at the lymphatic system. I think the congestion in the body and how the body's, the body's innate ability to detoxify or not detoxify in my opinion is probably the most underrated, but most important piece of the puzzle. Wow. Awesome. And that's just, again, that's just my opinion, but that's, yeah. that's where I stand with that. So yeah. So it, it, the toe fire, I think are, pro and you can see them so quick, like, and the <laughs> skirt rim, like those are, those are ones you don't, act, you don't have to, you know, you're not looking for those little tiny lacunas or, you know, yeah. the pigment sign, the pigments and all of that. Um, and it's just an easy way to be able to connect really quick with someone as well, while they're just mm -hmm. sitting in front of you or, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. You know, the blessing about a skirt. Too. Yeah. I, the, and I love saying to people, oh, you've got a ring of harmony and people love having yeah. a ring of harmony. Yeah. 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 Yeah, the, the blessing about that scurf rim is that it makes people's eyes pop. It really yeah. does. And so you can approach them and say, my gosh, your eyes are beautiful. beautiful. Just pop. And yeah. that opens up another door, you know, and you just, you walk in and people are like, wow, wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Awesome. Absolutely. Okay. Well, there's a little game that we play. We have a board. Let me show you the board. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh! <laughs> and we would like for you to pick a number between one and 36 and we're just going to ask a question at random here and we'll answer with you oh boy i so, just got sweaty i just got hot <laughs> you'll be fine i'm gonna say i don't know <laughs> um, we, we're, go. we're gonna help each other along let's go with 16 16 is a good number yeah I don't think anyone's picked that before. I don't think so. It could be a new question. Oh boy. I have no idea what it's gonna say. It's, oh Lord, Lord, it's long. Oh dear me. <laughs> well, do you like birth order? I do like birth order. I'm, I am not super, um, uh, I'm not 100% familiar with it, but I do love birth order. Okay. Well, let's play around with this for just a second because Chris will probably just jump all over this in just a second. What's the difference between a four girl and a four boy? Oh. Okay, I have four sons. My four boy wants to be an entertainer. He loves to sing and he wants to join the drama club in school. My brother has four daughters and two sons in that order. He notices his four girl is something of a challenge. She's more mischievous. She's always doing something that pushes the envelope, so to speak. Please help me understand this behavior. That is a challenge. That, Chris you know does, tell us what let's you think. Let's let do this. <laughs> I love, let's I love let's just let him do this. this. I absolutely love four boys and four girls. You know, like a four boy is Yang. 
you know, they, they follow the two, which is like the, you know, the two is like the bull in the china shop. So the four takes that out into the community and the four boy, my brother's a four boy. And, and they're like, the, they're like the Lion King. They're like, oh my God, this is, you know, we've got this little, little piece of ray of sunshine that brings everyone together. And I remember going, my, my brother's on 21st. And he was like, what, did you enter crowd? It was like 250 people there. There was so many people. And, and, and when Facebook first started, this is ages ago, I wasn't even on Facebook. He had like a thousand friends. I'm like, that is ridiculous. You could not even know that many people. And he goes, I bet I could tell you all their birthdays. That's like a four boy. The four boys are really just, they just bring people in and, they, and they're the life of the party, but they like, they're kind of showy. They like to dress up. They like to, you know, like the Lion King. Whereas a four girl, oh, she's like, that's yin. But she, she like, she's like the one who likes to be completely different to the family. Like completely different to the family. A black and, sheep. And almost like burn the bridges. Like they want to change the family. And an example is my, my wife is, like her family are so close. They, 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 they never argue. They're, all the siblings never fight with each other. They're just so close. But they're also different. And Sandy is really, um, really different to her family. Like she went to live in India for two years and, and you know, she, she grew up in quite a you know, well-off well family and, you know, and, and went to a good school and all of that. But she went to live in, a, in an untouchable village in India for 18 months where people didn't know how to read. But well, that's the difference to a four girl. They want to do exactly what's different to their family. And another example is like her dad, her dad used to, um, used to um, have like, like, like liberal party meetings, like, like conservative um, government meetings when, when they did elections. And, and she chose to have one as well, but she, voted, she was a Greens member. So that's the other extreme to the conservative party. Um, but she had one at the same time upstairs. Like, why would you do that? That's what a four girl does. So a four girl really just does, just, it's kind of like, you no, know, and, and she doesn't do it to be spiteful. She wants to make the world a better place. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's just like this says, she's pushing the yeah. envelope. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. I love four, four you girls. Know I love them. I'm, I, I love that answer. I'm not going to add to it. <laughs> I think that was perfect. That was yeah. beautiful. Oh, why would I want to add to it? <laughs> leave, per leave perfection alone. That's right. And, and you know what? But, but there's not enough four boys and four girls in the world anymore because people aren't having that many kids. I know. They say two. They're, they're like, I'm done after two. You know, they're, they're, there's going to be less gala parties in the world. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I love the answer. I love that answer. I love four girls. I love four boys as well. Yeah. They're great. Awesome. Well, Jennifer, we are at the end of our of our little meeting here, and um, you, you know what? You're going to be you're going to become a celebrity because there's going to be so many people that see this, and they are also going to be inspired by your story. That was just it was touching, yeah. and it was it was sweet and inspiring at the same time. And I'm so glad you, you shared that with us today. Thank you. Thank you. And Jennifer, we have to pinky promise that the next symposium that's live, we have to have a, we have to be there and have a pina colada together. I would love that. I will okay. pinky promise that. <laughs> I mean, do. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Oh, oh, well, okay. guys, thank as you usual, so thank you. We, uh, we do appreciate it. And, um, you know, if you get down to Texas, stop by and see me sometime. Will do. I love it. No I, I actually need to make myself down to Texas. I need to come, come say on. hi. You're welcome. I also, I also, I'm, this does not have to be on the recording, but Christos, we have family now in um, Australia. That's where Chris's son is living. So we will be there this where? fall. Whereabouts? Uh, Melbourne. Oh my God. We'll have to hook up. Yes, Just absolutely. Down street, okay. Just down the street from him. Yep, absolutely. Okay. We'll be there. Cool. Thank you. All, Thank you, all guys. Right, guys. We'll see you later, Jen. Bye. Bye.